Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Matisse. I know that I went missing in action last week. I was gonna upload a pumpkin pie video with Thanksgiving and everything and just got a little bit overwhelming and I wasn't able to edit it in time. But this week I'm back with another video. For this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make homemade non bread. So let's get right into it. To make this naan recipe, you will need 1 cup of warm water, 2 tablespoons of honey, 1 packet of active dry yeast, 3.5 cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of plain Greek yogurt or sour cream, 2 teaspoons of salt, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and 1 large egg. To start, you need to activate your yeast by mixing it with the warm water and honey in the bowl of a stand mixer with the dough attachment and then let that sit for a few minutes until you see bubbles forming on top. After that, all you need to do is add the rest of the ingredients and mix on medium speed for about 3 minutes. The dough should form a smooth ball, but it will still be slightly sticky. Next, grease a bowl and put the dough ball into it, then cover that and let it rise for about an hour. Once the dough has risen, you can remove it and divide it into 8 equal pieces. Working with one at a time, Form each piece into a ball and then roll it out into an oval shape. It should be a little bit less than a quarter of an inch thick and about the size of a normal piece of naan. Meanwhile, you can heat up a pan with some butter in it. If you want, you can also make garlic butter just by sauteing some minced garlic with melted butter in a pan for a few minutes. Add the rolled out piece of dough to the pan and cook for 1-2 to two minutes or until bubbles are starting to form on top and it is slightly golden on the bottom. Flip that and cook it just for another 60 seconds on the other side and then remove it from the pan and repeat those steps with your remaining dough. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Keep leaving suggestions in the comments section about what other recipes you want to see me try. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.